Recently, I was working on a project where I had to collect data from one website, collect some more data from another website and create a combined output file. So I think it will be a good idea to show you how it is done. So let's get started. So what we are going to do today is we are going to collect the book name and this book price information from this website and we'll do a search on another site. Okay. So we are going to come here, search for it and we'll just see whether there are ebooks available for that book or not. Okay. So very simple task, but the concepts that you will learn will be applicable for even more complex task. All right. So what I have done here, I have written the basic spider. So in the start request, we are going through the 50 pages and in the parse method, we are simply taking the price and title and yielding this output. So let's understand the part two of this, right? So once we have the title, what do we do? So let's understand this side, how this works. Okay. So I'm just going to press F12 and I need to go to the network tab and let's click this go button and this is the request okay so it's a very simple request all right so you can see here that it's a get request so that's why i said that it is a very simple request that means that we don't have to work with forms and post requests which makes our task a little bit easier and this book a light in the attic is right here and we can see that the result is there are no record found. Okay. So this book is not there. Now let's uh, look for a book that already has a result. So I know that this book is actually having some results here. So now we can see that there are actually 10 results. So there are 10 variations of this book. So all we need in the result is that, is there any result? So we can make it as complex as we want, but I just want to show you the basic idea. So let me copy this URL. So here we are not going to yield this item. Instead, what we are going to do, we are going to yield one more request. Okay. And let's fill in the URLs. So this URL is actually going to be, I've simply pasted in this, but this Frankenstein is actually going to be this title, right? So url.format and this url.format and item title. Now this value we are going to assign to the URL. All right. And we are going to send a request to this particular URL, but we need to handle the response. So let's call this parse Gutenberg. Let's create this method self and response. Now let's create our selectors or in fact, you know what? I can create a selector based on this text. Okay. So double slash, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the contains method and we'll extract the text. So this will give us this complete line displaying results one dash 10. That's all we need right now. Okay. So the result is response dot X path. And this is the X path and then finally the get method. So if there is a result, we will see that has ebook. Let's just make it true. So we'll keep it very simple as ebook is false by default. If there is a result, we'll make it true. Okay. Now from here, we will yield this item. But where is this item? So this is the important part. Okay. Now, if you do a web search, you will find two ways to do it. So there is one wrong way and there is one right way. So first of all, let me tell you what is the wrong way. If you see the use of meta, don't use it. That is the wrong way. So what is the correct way? So whenever you are creating this request, you have to send one more additional argument. And this one is called CB keyword arguments. Okay. And this will be a dictionary. Now you can pass any number of arguments here and this will be received by this callback method. So right now we just want to send the item as it is, right? So that's it. If you want to send additional information, you can create one more key value pair. Okay. But how do you handle it in this callback method? You have to add one additional parameter. So what you have done now from this method, you have sent this piece of data here. And now what we can do, 
this item is available directly as it is so we can add one more column and let's call this let's call this as ebook and the result is going to be as ebook okay and now we can yield but before you get excited and start running it let me warn you that this is not going to work why because we have to make change to allowed domain as well right because we are going to a different domain so we have to add it here otherwise your spider is not going to work so let's run and see so scrapey run spider and let run this and let's send the output to let's call this multi.csv there we go so we can see that the scraping is complete and if you just look at one of the results we can see that has ebook is set to false here so let's open this file the csv file in a proper editor so we can see that it is true for a lot of books and for many other books it is false okay so and in the final results we have data from both the sites so that's all for today i'll see you in the next one